Hello, my name is Amir Hakim and I will do a section A for Raspberry Pi Simulator Installation Setup So, first of all, go to Settings and go to Name Name it as a Pixel Pixel Type uh, Linux Is it Linux? Yes, Linux And then we will use uh, Debian for 32 32 bit based on our lab sheet, our assignment sheet. So create, okay, create. So this is our pixel. So press start, okay. It will take a long okay. Now we can start our our software. It will take a bit of time. Okay, now we are in uh, Raspberry Pi virtual image in virtual box. Now, go to step preference and mouse. Now, we will go to this step. Which is uh, set up the GPIO emulator. So just terminal icon, and then we will write this coding. This, this word. We get h a p slash open the i e e c dot unet unet dot e s slash i o t for s m e s i o t for SME test .dip. Okay. Now we will use we will write the unzip IoT unzip IoT for SME test .dip. Okay. Next we will. Okay. Now our Raspberry Pi is ready to use. This is our first. Uh, sorry. This is our first coding. We get HTTP open. Ni. This is our coding, and this is the second uh, coding that we need to type unzip that OT. So our okay, that's all for me. Hi, I'm Rangita, and this is for section C. Firstly, we must set up this software. Virtual Memory Statistic is a system utility that collects and displays information about system memory, processes, interrupts, paging, and block input output. Using Virtual Memory Statistic, we can specify a sampling interval to observe system activity in near real time. There is six categories under virtual memory statistic as we can see, such as procs, memory, swap, input output, system, and CPU. So under procs, there is two unknown. R is the number of processes in a running state, B is the number of processes in uninterruptible sleep state. SWPD, free, buff, and catch is under memory. SWPD is the amount of virtual memory used. Free is the amount of idle memory. Buff is the amount of memory used as a buffer. Catch is catch is the amount of memory used as catch. SI and SO are under swap. SI is amount of memory swap in ROM. This SO is the amount of memory swap to this. BI and BO is under input output. BI is blocks received from a block device and BO is blocks sent to a block device. IN and CS is under system. 
I n is the number of interrupts per second, including the clock. C s is the number of contacts switches per second. U s time spent running non-kernel code. S y time spent running kernel code. I d time spent idle. W a time spent waiting for input output. S t time stolen from a virtual machine. All these five parts are under CPU. Let me demonstrate some examples. We must type VMS CAT and choose any two variables. Firstly, I choose 1 and 1. This shows the information of our memory. As we can see, this is only for one counter. Let's go for second example. For the second example, I use variable 2 and 2. So, we can see there are two counters. You can see memory of the two counters are the same. Then in input output, bi we get 75 for the first counter. Thirdly, we go for system. In at the first counter is 20 and second counter is 12. Cs for first counter is 84 and second counter is 25. So this is our third example, VMS T80 for three counter. We can see there are three counters. We again get the same memory because all three counters in same memory. Input output bi is still 75 as the previous example. For the system, in at the first and second counter is 20 and third counter is 11. Cs for first counter is 83, second counter is 18 and third counter is 19. Let's go for our fourth example, 4 and 4. There will be 4 counters. We will get the same memory for all 4 counters. BI for first counter is 73 and for the system, we can see the IN in first counter is 20, 11 for second counter, 16 for third counter, 12 for fourth counter, CS for first counter is 82, CS for second and third counter is 20 and CS for fourth counter is 19. And for the CPU, we can see in all examples, ID for first counter is 99 and the other counters will be 100. So that's Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good evening. So, my name is Sitiya Shafika Binti Mohamed Kama Shansuddin. Uh, I'm from 3BS3 Go H. So today I would like to explain a little bit about Session E. That is a building a simple circuit where we will testing GPIO by using several input pins and trigger several output pins. So first of all, we need to open programming. Python 3 IDLE So we need to create a new file Next There is a coding already that already given Otherwise you write it back here Or you can copy and paste it from the Document that uh, my team already explain it from session A where we we unzip IOT for SMES with uh, this is a several document 
from this IoT Pro SMES. So for this this coding uh, is GPIO test Python. Uh, this this coding is from Python two. Uh, now we are using a uh, Python three, so we will copy this program and we paste it in our Python three. Now we need to run run module before we run it we need to save the document first we save it as name as test so here we will get mm, the input output for the gpio emul emulator same as the same, same as the given so, uh, let me let me explain briefly about the coding one by one. So, from emulator GUI import GPIO. This is for uh, we enable the emulator. Uh, hashtag import RPI dot gpio as gpio this is a comment where the library for the clear raspberry pi but we didn't use rpi because we use the emulator uh, we have uh, we need to import time import traffic import requests so for the import time, this is a time library and import prepack. It will show uh, any error that is good for us to do a debug. debug. Uh, import request is for the URL HTTP uh, uh, I didn't uh, like that. Um, this that mean this is uh, our main that mean this is our main coding so before we manage the load this is our load session before we manage this session we need to we we need to set uh, we need to set up set up the input output first so uh, gpio dot set mode gpio dot bcm where here bcm this is a broadcast soc channel so gp uh, we we set by using a GPIO BC, uh, BCM, uh, uh, it, it is not, not the same as the number of that GPIO board has. GPIO's the set warning false meaning every warning that F in, uh, will not mention gpio setup means that uh, where setup is for we set the gpio input or output so for gpio 4 gpio 17 18 and 21 we set it as our output pio.out 
But for uh, GPAC 17, 18 and 21, uh, they have a uh, initial where that will be a uh, low and for and uh, we have a uh, GPI 23, 15, 24 and 26 that we set as a our input is GPI the in uh, GPIO 23 we have a uh, put up down equal to GPIO dot p put underscore up that mean that mean uh, we, that we will etch us no uh, switch switch uh, as well normally this is a close circuit for the 15 and 24 this is gpio that put i scroll down where it will act as a active type switch where it normally is a open circuit so why two is a that's mean we will loop the the coding we will loop it okay so uh, gpio the input 23 equal equal force this mean where the constants we hide before and we when when we press a uh, twenty three as an input, it become a uh, low or zero, and the output for four and seven will become high. As you can see here, when we press it, it's uh normally one. This is high, and when we press it it's become low and our output for gpio 4 and gpio 17 um, become high for 1 and for the input 15 it's normally it's low that's mean it's normally zero and when we press it it become one or high and the the output 18 become high and 21 also become high and okay next uh, for the GPIO 24 is normally zero where uh, it's and uh, it's low and then when we press it, it's become high as 1 and the output GPIO 18 and 21 is become low 0 and 21 also 0 ok next when we next we see a uh, GPIO 26 is normally 0 and when we press it it's got one and our output for GPIO 4 and 17 is become zero or low so for this for coding we use a time speed as a one second is a delay our delay one second so from here we can conclude that uh, this for for switch is a uh, 23, 15, 24, and 26, where 
23 and 15 is a turn on switch and 24 and 26 is a turn off switch Accept at text section as ex respect dot green underscore reacts where this respect mean that we show any error that have from our coding uh, finally gpio dot clean up this mean uh, uh, it will kill all the pins before we exit so that's all from me uh, thank you Q&A for section A group H what is Oracle VM VirtualBox? VirtualBox is an open source software for visualizing the 86 computing architecture. It is act as a hypervisor, creating a virtual machine where the user can run another OS. VirtualBox support Windows, Linux, or Mac OS as it hosts. Why VirtualBox error to start? By refer to this picture, we need to disable our hypervision. And next, we need to enable our virtualization technology in our BIOS setting by referring YouTube. So for Q&A session, what is an uninterruptible sleep state? It's that will not handle a signal right away. The process resumes only if the waited upon resource becomes available or if a timeout occurs during that wait. For our second question, how to read VMS start output? So, we need to run the following command VMS start delay and iteration. Delay, since VMS start provides discrete values, we can specify the delay between each statistic. Iteration is the number of times we need the command to print the information. So, I guess you all understand the QA sessions. Thank you. Q&A for session E. When we run the code, it says module no exists. In Python 3 ideal E, don't insert code first. Need to create a new file, then only insert code and run module. If copy at section A code, make sure change it to Python 3 first because in section A widget, it's given as Python 2 document. Why only can press some pins and what will happen when press other pins? We only can press from the what we set at setup as input or output. If one press other pin needs to set first but don't forget to see the GPIO header first because not all pins not all pins can be as out input or output. For simulation if we not set it we cannot press it so there's nothing will happen same as we raspberry pi if we press pin that didn't set there's nothing will happen